I believe uh, in my audition, the, uh, <laughs> my last audition, I slightly cracked open my leg and thrust in my crotch at Alan. <laughs> I think that's something thing. you should remember about if you want to be an actress. <laughs> 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 oh, I, I jumped through a lot of hoops. I actually, uh, I auditioned originally for a different character, and uh, and then they called me back for this guy, and then it was almost like a month-long process where. I was jumping through hoops, you know, just sort of waiting around and not knowing what was going on. And I guess they narrowed it down to like five guys or six guys, and we had a chemistry read. Uh, me, I, we all read with Nelson, and uh, I won. screaming at the top of my lungs and just feeling kind of like a fool, but um, <laughs> I guess it works. <laughs> kind of uh, bed sitter apartment and um, yeah it's a really sort of auspicious moment, auspicious time and you know now five years later to think that that little call has now transcended into this phenomenon it's kind of crazy. Good. Um, I think I, I had to do the Super Save a Bunch scene. <laughs> I remember I was in New York and I remember like I brought in an apron and like a rag and I was like really into it. I was like dressing up for the part. And I remember I was at a, pulling out of a Starbucks when I got the call and I actually almost ran into somebody. <laughs> <laughs> because I uh, started just, I like literally started crying because they were like, hey, uh, you, you, you got the part. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then I just pulled back in and just kind of like lost it because uh, when you uh, get to do what you love to do and what you've dreamed about since you were a kid, um, it's, it's, it's amazing and so, and I never would have thought it would be as big as it is now. So I'm very thankful to you, Alan, for giving me the opportunity and for working with you guys, it's been great. A few times, a few times you get the opportunity to, your agent asks you to put yourself on tape. Oh, I just and uh, <laughs> it's the one time in a way that you get the, the chance to put across something without having to be in the room and, and, and you know, that, that nervousness of being in the room and doing it. And um, I, I read the script the night before and um, as soon as I found out it was Alan, I, I put myself on tape the next morning, and then I just moved. I just moved apartments, and uh, I'd moved to this new new place. And I put myself on tape, and I got home. I picked up my kids from school, and I got back to the house, and um, I'd been burgled or burglarized, as you guys say. And uh, I realised very quickly that my computer and all my cameras and everything that I owned would have been gone. And you know, footage of the children growing up, all of that stuff. And I noticed some glass on the floor and the kids hadn't really worked out what was going on and I, and I was trying to be strong for them. And, uh, and uh, I, I sat them down and I said, look, you know, this is what's happened. This is, you know, we've, somebody's come into the house through the window and they've stolen everything. And my little boy ran into the bedroom and 
looked onto his bed and he went, Dad, they didn't get Teddy. <laughs> and I went, come here. <laughs> and I sort of slid down the wall, holding them both. <laughs> I've got you two. And uh, I, I got them to sleep. And, uh, and literally, my manager rang and said, um, they want to fly you to LA in the morning. And so it was a really interesting kind of thing from, from you know, those moments of low to incredibly high. And the next day I got there and um, I walked into Alan's office and I met Anna for the first time. And, um, and it, you know, it's been, it's been all right. <laughs> you know, I stopped Alan until he said yes. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't stop me at all, but we made her go through like 19,000 rounds of readings. And it was like five, but yeah. five felt like about 20,000 rounds. <laughs> Especially, I feel like the more you want something, the m longer that process feels, even if in reality it maybe was only a few months, but it felt like and I was like, okay, I'll come back and say, oh, my head, I'm going to spoon. This is what you're going to do, right? You know, I, I just really, I really, really wanted it. And um, I'm always incredibly grateful that Alan had the imagination to see that uh, what walked in the door wasn't necessarily what was written on the page. But, um, you know, he was able to see it in the, in the performance, not just the aesthetics of the page detail bringing out from his drawings. <laughs> I'm incredibly grateful. That 20, that $20 million you gave me didn't hurt. We don't talk about it. Well, thank you. But on behalf of all of us, we want to thank you guys because you're the ones who waited in line and you, you stayed and you